Hi everybody, I'm Terry. And I'm Angel. And welcome to our morning chat session. We are going to talk about eating out today on a whole food, plant-based diet when you're not vegan, so to speak. And so it can be very interesting to try to eat out. Um, a lot of people, I mean, eating at home is always the best. It's always the best to eat at home. But a lot of us travel for a living and we want to go out with our friends and we want to be social and all of that kind of stuff. So you don't have to sit in your house right. to, to do it. I, we prefer, and you could have a dinner party and get other people excited about whole food plant-based eating without a lot of added fat and sodium and sugar. Right, right. You could always do that. I was just thinking maybe we should start like a dinner club. Anyway, <laughs> whole topic for a whole nother day. But um, there is ways to eat out. Terry and I often travel long and far to find some interesting things that we want to eat and try. And when we do that, we can be on the road for a long time. And one thing we don't like being is hungry. Right. right? Exactly. We do exactly. not like being hungry. So we'll do a whole other segment on snacking and what to pack when you're going somewhere and, and all of that kind of stuff. Got all kinds of ideas on that. But today let's focus on really eating out and, and some of the tools that you can use to, to be successful. So, and, and I did write it down. I keep telling you guys, I'm not as smart as Terry. I gotta write stuff down. Yeah, she's very smart. Yeah. She's very smart. She's done a lot of research um, to really help everyone kind of have a better perspective and broader perspective on how can I maintain a whole food plant-based diet, but when I'm out, you know, how can I enjoy myself and how can I eat out? I mean, Angel and I both have, you know, jobs where we're required to entertain clients, customers, and things of that nature. So it's a, it's a delicate balance uh, in terms of being able to entertain our clients and customers, but also maintain a healthy whole food plant-based diet. So she's done a lot of research. Yeah. Um, so I can't wait to kind of share this with you guys. Absolutely. Thank you, sweetheart. And you know, one thing that's important to me and while Terry could consume oil and not have an adverse, horrible adverse action like hives or not being able to breathe or some allergic reaction like that. I do always consider Terry allergic to oil. And the reason I say he's allergic to oil is because those, that oil clogs his arteries and make, can make him sick and could give him a cardiac event. So do I consider Terry um, allergic to oil? I do and I feel comfortable very comfortable and Terry feels very comfortable saying does that have oil why because I'm allergic to it right sometimes it, restaurants do not want to feed you anything that you are allergic to and I will tell you that nine chances out of ten servers um, people chefs especially they're very proud of what they do and when you ask them to accommodate you they go above and beyond there's nothing to be embarrassed about the best tool you can use is the phone. Right. Plan ahead, look at the menu, talk to your friends or whoever you're dining with, or if you're planning, look ahead. Make sure there's something for everybody mm -hmm. on the menu, but especially yourself when you're whole food plant-based. And what you're looking for, again, not the calories, you're looking for the fat. You're looking for all the hidden added sodium mm -hmm. and the animal fat which is interesting, which mm -hmm. get, will get me into a topic right now mm -hmm. about baked potatoes. Mm -hmm. Because we often think that baked potatoes, I'm going to go there, I'm going to have baked potatoes and broccoli, and I'm going to be set, we're going to be social. Through my research, I found that the reason that a lot of baked potatoes are sometimes so amazing tasting is because they actually dip the baked potatoes in baking grease. So not only is the baked potato now not healthy for you and has 30, 40 to 50 grams of fat, but it also has animal protein in it and we don't, we don't eat animals. So, um, so it's important to know that what your baked potato may or may not be dipped in. So just, just know that sometimes things that seem like they're okay, like croutons, Croutons, a lot of times, are covered in butter. Mm. Where does butter come from? It comes from cows. Mm -hmm. 
So you have to be really careful. I remember when we first started Whole Food Plants, plant-based eating, Terry was out with some colleagues and I had asked him, what'd you have for lunch? Oh my gosh, I had this amazing lunch. Da, da, da. He told me all about it. I asked him what dressing he had on his salad and he said, honey mustard. <laughs> so I said, oh, you had honey today. Yeah. And then all of a sudden it dawned on him. Oh my gosh, we don't need honey. Right, exactly. So, But it was an honest mistake because it was right. mustard. You were like, honey mustard, perfect. Right. And it didn't have a lot of fat in it. So, yeah. you know, it's just little things like that that are hard to think about. So, so honey, what should they do? Should they, should they ask? If they want ask, a baked potato, just ask, ask. Ask ahead. If you can call and ask ahead, plan. Every single restaurant you go to will have nutritional information. Unless it's a mom and pop and you're going, then call and ask because they're happy to accommodate you. They're actually more happy to accommodate right, sure. you. But any restaurant you're going to go to, just type in the restaurant, what you plan on eating and nutritional information. It will pull, pull up the fat, the sodium, everything that you ever needed or wanted to know. Mm -hmm. Do all your research ahead of time. And then when you're sitting down and all your friends are looking through the menu or your colleagues, you're already set. You're already set. You're good to go. You and can if you, and sip if you need... some sparkling water <laughs> and have a good time. And a good tip, if you need to try to remember what you want, just text yourself. Send yeah, yourself a that's text. That's a great idea. Yeah, send yourself a text. You already have it in writing, so when you're in a restaurant and everyone else is ordering, you kind of already know what you want. You can be conversational. See, I said you were smarter <laughs> than me. I wouldn't think about that. So anyway, I wrote on here that the best thing to do is plan ahead. That's your best tool. Plan ahead. Call. Use the internet. Look at the menus. See if you can do the planning for the team. Most mm -hmm. people are very accommodating. Right. Um, read menu nutritional information ahead of time. If they don't have it, ask. And don't be embarrassed to ask. People are really, really, really nice about this stuff. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, call ahead to restaurants and order things a la carte. A lot of th times, things that say they're vegan are very dangerous. Mm -hmm. They are full of fat. They are full of sodium. We do not order things. It actually scares me when I see that something's vegan. I'd rather order a meal that is not plant-based and just tell them to take the chicken off mm -hmm. than to order, take the chicken cheese and croutons off than to order something vegan. Hmm. Those things that are vegan are loaded with fat, saturated fat, just all kinds of stuff. And yes, they are vegan, but they're not whole food plant-based. Plant -based. So they're not healthy for you. Um, I told you about the baked potatoes because that's really, really important that they can be packed in baking grease. Beans and rice are a great option when you're out. A lot of beans and rice are packed in oil. Mm. And the reason is because they don't want the rice to clump together. Mm. And so they drizzle a little oil in it and it keeps it nice and loose and fluffy. Mm -hmm. And oil. They add oil to beans because they think it's tasty. Right. So that's so what they ask. do. Just ask. So I wanted to give an, um, one place that Terry and I used to eat a lot is because they have a lot of fish and seafood options and Terry knows a lot about red lobster and so he knows that their fish is fresh, it's not frozen and so we really like that mm -hmm. fresh option. Absolutely. The baked potato at red lobster is 310 calories, 11 grams of fat and 980 milligrams of sodium. I used to love the baked potato at Red Lobster because I wouldn't to eat the skin. But they smother it in butter, <laughs> or their what they call it's 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 their own recipe, if you will, of a coating of butter, and they also put a lot of salt. And you can order a plain baked potato, but like Angel said, you really have to educate yourself and really have to just ask. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And that's where you call ahead and just say, hey, when you're making your potatoes today, because sometimes they do make them ahead of time mm -hmm. and they don't have the 40 or 50 minutes it takes mm -hmm. to make another potato. It's not that they don't want to. I'm going to be dining with you today when you're making your potatoes. Could you steam one for me or two for right. me today? Right. So it's, it, they're so accommodating. Mm -hmm. they They'll are. make you so many steamed veggies. They'll make you veggies any way you mm -hmm. want them. You mm -hmm. don't have to take them to order. Hey, could you just steam my veggies? They will always tell you they're not going to taste as good. And you can say, I know. <laughs> right. You're so, absolutely Because right. to us, they do taste exactly. good. Exactly. Because we taste food now, exactly. not like before. So when people do tell you at restaurants, though, it's not going to taste as good. And you just agree with them. Tell them that you know that. But think to yourself, yes, it is going <laughs> to be delicious. 
So um, steamed options are the best options to look for. If you're looking at a menu, you're looking for steamed, grilled, or baked. Steamed is always the best because they'll usually add the fat at the end. So you can just say, no fat, I'm allergic to oil, I don't eat butter, those types of things. Uh, you know, I'm whole food plant-based, so you definitely don't eat butter. Right. Um, grilled is always good. Ask them to grill it without the oil in the mm -hmm. grill. Terry and I have a couple particular restaurants that we go to where we order black bean burgers. Mm -hmm. We order things that they put on the grill for us, and we always tell them, no oil on the grill, just put it on the grill. Mm -hmm. No problem. They Very never common. give us Very any problem, mm -hmm. though, ever. They're, they're service-oriented, and, and you know a lot of restaurants are service-oriented, and that's what they're there. They're there to serve you and try to you know make sure that they're providing the best service and food obviously is their main, you know, the main entree. So, um, they're very accommodating. You Absolutely. haven't had any issues at all. No, none. And baked would be your last option. You got to be really careful with the baked option because while it's not fried, it's already all mixed together, mm -hmm. all the ingredients, and they put it in the oven and bake it. Mm -hmm. So you have to ask. Right. Um, one of the places that we do like is the pita pit. So I don't know, depending on where you're at in the nation, if you have a pita pit or not. Um, the pita pit is delicious. There's one right around the corner from where Terry works. And when he has forgotten his lunch or forgotten his little tool kit to keep him healthy, satisfied, um, he'll run down to the pita pit. The pitas themselves, no matter if you get the white or the wheat, and they're huge. I'm mm -hmm. talking about the big pita, not the little pita. Right. Terry and I don't eat min mini anything. Right. So the big pita right. is 180 calories with one gram of fat. Mm -hmm. So that's fine. Um, and then the black bean burger is 110 calories with three grams of fat. So if you get the black bean burger, fill that pita. They have so many fresh oh, vegetables, vegetables there. Oh my gosh. And you have that pita that's kind of chewy mm -hmm. and pliable and you got your black bean burger in there mm -hmm. and I mean this thing is humongous when it's done. It is. So one thing you got to be careful with though is because the tempting part is the hummus and the falafel. Mm -hmm. Hummus out is loaded with fat. I mean the, the lightest one I've ever seen in all the research that I've done is about seven grams of fat. They go all the way up into the 30s and 40s. Hummus has got a lot of fat in it because the base of it is olive oil. Mm. And the people making the hummus think that the more olive oil you put on it, the yummier it is. So you gotta be really, really careful yeah. when choosing a hummus option. If you're gonna have a little spread of hummus and that's your treat for the day, by all means, have your little spread of hummus, but just know that you're getting quite a bit of fat in there. So just tell them, hey, light hummus. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have to not have it. Right. But just be conscious that I know that that has at least 10 grams of fat in a little tiny bit. Right. Um, the falafel. I love falafels. They're vegan. They are fried. Falafels are fried. Any falafel is on average 300 to 350 calories mm -hmm. and about 35 grams of fat. Wow. So they wow. are deep fried. So be really careful. Mediterranean options are always great. Greek restaurants are wonderful for vegan that eat for people that eat whole food plant based. Right. But you have to be careful because a lot of the things have oil. I will have to ask people at the Mediterranean restaurants that we go to, please don't put extra oil on my pitas when you because they make the pitas homemade. Mm -hmm. You have to tell them don't right. put extra. You already know there's a little bit of oil in the pita. Mm -hmm. but it's okay and they say okay no problem mm -hmm. they make the pita the hummus has a lot of fat in it they yeah. love their olive oil yeah and yes. the falafels are very very high in yes. fat you could ask them to bake the falafels sometimes they will and then you have to ask them if they were pre-fried mm -hmm. so stuff like that is really important mm -hmm. so another place that we love going and that I think is more regional for everybody would be some of the uh, Mexican restaurants. So mm -hmm. the fast in and out, order, go through the line, order what you want, mm -hmm. and then do it that way. So I, Mo's Southwest Grill, mm -hmm. uh, Qdoba, and Chipotle. So if I were to stack rank Mo's, Qdoba, and Chipotle, I would stack rank them just that way, as far as fat and oil and sodium. So I would say Mo's first, uh, Qdoba second, and Chipotle third. Mm -hmm. 
And so with the Mo's, they have two kinds of rice. They have seasoned rice, which mm -hmm. can make you think that that's scary because it tastes really good. And then the cilantro lime rice. The seasoned rice is 150 calories with one gram of fat. And the cilantro lime rice is 169 calories with three grams of fat. Mm -hmm. okay. So you're thinking to yourself, that's white. The, the rice looks very clean. Mm -hmm. It's got cilantro in it mm -hmm. uh, and lime. It has a lot of fat because they don't want it to clump together. So you're better off with the seasoned rice at mm -hmm. most. They also have a quinoa option. While it has 84 calories, so half the calories as the other two, it has two grams of fat. Mm. So your best choice as far as whole food, plant-based fat is the seasoned Season. rice. Um, and then black beans or pinto beans always come in around 120, 130 calories, no matter where you go, with one, one to two grams of fat, depending on. So at Moe's, Terry and I usually get the bowl, mm -hmm. the seasoned rice. With, we usually get black beans, yep. and a lot of times, Terry will get the mixed pinto and black. You can do that as well. Mm -hmm. And then there is loads of veggies. Yeah. That we just load it. and yep. then we, I mean, I usually can't finish it, and I'm a All pretty right. good eater. I usually finish what she can't finish. <laughs> yeah, we eat them both, and the sauces are great. Now, there Corn. is sodium. There is sodium yes. in this stuff. But again, it's a treat. You're eating out. We're not going there every day. Right. So, um... At Qdoba, they have a brown rice option, so they have a white rice and a brown rice. The white rice has 190 calories, 3 grams of fat. The brown rice is 170 calories, 1 gram of fat. So obviously, if I were going to choose, I would like the brown rice because of the fat. Mm -hmm. And they have the black beans and the pinto beans, just like I told you earlier, both with 1 gram of fat. So if you had the brown rice, with the beans and a bunch of veggies, you're looking at 300 calories and a couple grams of fat. Right. So that's what you're looking at. And then Chipotle, do not, and I repeat, do not, get the cilantro lime rice. It has seven grams of fat. Wow. Why Why would you do that? Wow. Why? Why? Go why, would you, why would you think that that would have seven why grams Why would you of think fat? that? Wow. That's why I said that I would sacrifice them three. However, the brown rice, is 140 calories with one gram of fat. Mm. So get the brown rice, the beans are the same, 120 to 130, 140 calories, who cares? One gram of fat, so you're looking at 300 mm -hmm. calories, 280 to 300 with two grams of fat. Right. But do not touch that cilantro lime rice at Chipotle because it does have seven grams of fat, which is astonishing. And who would think that? Right. Who would think that cilantro lime rice would have that? Right. Even though I always thought it was bad at at, with three grams mm -hmm. at most, right. Chipotle is seven. seven. Wow. So that's added oil. That's not coming from the rice, right. people. That's coming from the oil. And the good thing yeah. is that all this information is, is readily available. So Angel did our research, and all this information is readily available. So it's at, you can access it anywhere. So if you don't have a Moe's or a Chipotle um, or, or, or any other uh, the restaurants that we're talking about, you can just look at your regional restaurants and you can do your own research Absolutely. and still come up with you know the best the best options for you. Absolutely. So we used to try to hit it at Moe's, but if we don't and we're stuck somewhere else and we're hungry, we're not going hungry. So that's never an option. But you go for the best option. And I will be on my phone looking at nutritional information, calling oh. people. I don't mess around. Right. So uh, Panera bread is something that we like. I can get we can get soup, sandwich, mm -hmm. or a salad. Mm -hmm. So, um, and, and you can have their bagels too. A lot of bagel, bagels are vegan. You just have to be careful because they're like 300 calories on average with two grams of fat. So it's not so bad. The thing with bagels that you eat out, they have a load of sodium. Mm. So they're not really great option for Terry. Right. So if you get the bagel, dig the inside out if you really want it and, and, and enjoy it. <laughs> but just know that you're going to get a Good, a good sodium load for that day right. but you know you can have the everything bagel they have the mm -hmm. stone mill rye bagels mm -hmm. they have all kinds of stuff don't let the ones that say these are vegan or these are sprouted don't let them fool you a lot of times they have more fat mm. so just look it up don't let those things entice you right. is what I'm trying to say we usually get the veggie sandwich mm -hmm. Because it's a treat. We get the bread double toasted, so it's super crunchy. Mm -hmm. But we do not get it on the bread that they put it on. We ask them to replace that bread with the whole uh, 
the uh, white whole grain. Mm -hmm. The white whole grain bread has 130 calories and only a half a gram of fat. Mm -hmm. So the, the normal bread that they put that on is much higher in fat, and so we don't do that. They do have a hummus that I love, 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 but only two ounces of that hummus is 110 calories, that's fine, but it does have seven grams of fat. Mm -hmm. So that's why I said gotcha. it is the lightest in grams of fat I found, but you could opt out of the hummus and ask for mustard. Mm -hmm. You know, you could do all that. I don't opt out of the hummus. I eat it, but mm -hmm. I know that I need to be careful. And I, I, need I have asked for the mustard, and the mustard is fine. It's a great yeah, option. Great, it is great a great alternative. option. And then I love the 10 uh, vegetable soup mm -hmm. there because then I have a soup and a sandwich, mm -hmm. and it's just so hearty and satisfying. The 10 vegetable soup there, the cup is only 60 calories, one gram of fat. That's it. Mm -hmm. And in soup, that's pretty light. Soup right. has a lot of fat in it. And then the bowl has uh, 100 grams, 2 grams. I mean, 100 calories, 2, two grams, grams of fat. We always order the apple mm -hmm. on the side, so then you have your piece of fruit and you're good to go. I mean, that's a really, really great option. They also have fruit cups at Panera. Mm -hmm. Enjoy the fruit cup if that's what you want. The apple's free. You can mm -hmm. pay for the fruit cup. They have all kinds of water, sparkling water. I mean... Uh, we really, we like Panera. And it's filling. I mean, you get a nice size sandwich and a, a nice bowl. Sometimes we'll get the full sandwich and a, a bowl of soup, and it's very filling. If you have your fruit on the side, you got a nice lunch, and it's very healthy. It is, and it's good. Yeah, it is it's good. so crunchy, the bread. Yeah, yeah. Terry even started telling him the double toast. Double bread. toast of bread so right here. <laughs> um, so Asian restaurants have a lot of oil, a lot of sodium, don't even get me started, but if you want to get to the Asian restaurant, the steamed rice actually doesn't have any fat in it. They most, I won't say all, I will go out on a limb and say most Asian restaurants steamed rice has no fat. Mm -hmm. You'll know if it has fat because it'll be falling apart like there's no tomorrow, but okay. ask them if it has fat in it. Um, they have steamed broccoli, and they have steamed veggie. They have a little place on their menu about this big. They have that jumbo menu that's about this big. And they call it like diet options or something like that. Go in there, get your steamed rice, get your steamed veggies. And they will give you a ton. And their steamed veggies are cooked perfect. perfect. They are perfect. I don't know how they do that. <laughs> They're cooked perfect. perfect. So get that and enjoy it. So get from the Asian restaurant. You will get no fat. In that meal at all you'll get very minimal calories obviously in the veggies mm -hmm. and the rice you're looking at two to three hundred calories so eat away olive garden is is you know not a big option but if you want to go have lunch with a friend mm -hmm. or something like that you can actually have the breadsticks they seem like they're covered in butter uh, but they're not so the breadsticks are vegan even with the garlic stuff that they cover them in I wouldn't personally eat that. You can ask them for the breadsticks plain. They're mm -hmm. more than happy to do it um, because the garlic topping does have some fat in it. Mm -hmm. And I wrote it down. I think it's about three, two and a half grams of fat. So one of those breadsticks with the garlic topping is 140 calories mm -hmm. with two and a half grams of fat. If you order it without the garlic topping, you're looking at about 100 calories, one gram of fat. Oh, so wow. so have a breadstick or two. What's mm -hmm. the big deal? I mean, so you can have breadsticks. The pasta you can have that does not have egg in it is angel hair, fettuccine, rigatoni, and spaghetti. Oh, wow. So you're looking at a, approximately, I did an approximate calorie, 350 calories, about three grams of fat in those pastas that they serve at that restaurant. Right. And the pastas we buy don't have fat, but at that restaurant, the pasta has And you don't have egg. Wow. The, the, those ones, those. the angel hair, the fettuccine, rigatoni, oh, wow. spaghetti. So you can order that. Order the house salad. Everybody <laughs> goes to, why would you go to Olive Garden for anything right. but the salad, especially when you're Italian? Right. But the salad, you want it without the dressing. No croutons. The croutons have butter in them, mm. so it's not good for you. So order the salad, no croutons, no dressing. And you'll have about 70 calories in that whole thing, one gram of fat. Because you'll have a little bit of fat because the olives. Eat the olives. I love the olives. Would you, would you just bring your own dressing on here? You could, or you can order. Terry always brings his um, balsamic with him mm -hmm. everywhere he goes because it's in a little thing. And he just carries it around, and that's fine. And nobody gets offended. Why does this guy have his own balsamic? Don't worry about stuff like that. Right. But if you forget, like I do, 
order a vinegar, just mm -hmm. a straight up vinegar, mm, okay. or you can get lemon or limes. They always mm. have lemons and limes at okay. the bar, and you could squeeze those over your salad as well. Um, or you could be like our son Anthony, who eats salad plain. I don't mm. know how. I mean, that'd be awesome. Yeah. But enjoy the salad. The marinara sauce, you need to be really careful at Olive Garden if you do choose a pasta option has 190 calories, which is fine, but it does have 10 grams of fat in the marinara wow. sauce. So they're making it with a lot, a lot of olive oil. oil. They do have a tomato sauce that you can ask for. It's on the kids' menu usually, but you can ask for that. It has 80 calories and only five grams of fat. Mm -hmm. So you get the fat, but you could have the tomato. If you really wanted pasta and bread and salad, you could go and have that and it wouldn't be that much. They also, and this is so exciting. <laughs> I love minestrone soup, mm -hmm. but minestrone soup may appear to be vegetarian, vegan, and all that, but a lot of times it is made with an animal-based broth. So mm -hmm. be very, very careful, because I ask all the little pizza restaurants mm -hmm. all the time, and they are all made usually with some kind of animal-based broth. However, a couple years ago, Olive Garden did change, and their minestrone soup is vegan. Oh, wow. Thank you! Wow, that's so awesome. you can have the minestrone soup for 110 calories, one gram of fat. So not only is it vegan there, I'm not adding a lot of fat and mm -hmm. oil to it. Mm -hmm. So you can have salad, bread, and minestrone soup right. for very little fat calories and all that. I mean, right. it's just incredible. Just be more creative around what you would do with your dressing. Vinaigrettes are dangerous. Mm -hmm. Very dangerous. Vinaigrettes. I got a little pack of vinaigrette the other day. Because I wanted to go out on a limb, and as long as Terry's not eating it, I'm good. Little tiny package. And that little tiny package of vinaigrette, which was just a couple tablespoons, I'm assuming, had 20 grams of fat. 20 grams. 20 grams. Oh, my God. So be careful with the vinaigrette. So I got the Asian. I got the Olive Garden, which I think is really important. Subway. All right. Mm -hmm. Subway. You can stop by there. You can get a Veggie Delight sandwich or salad. The veggie delight, oh, and I got something for you. You guys are gonna be super stoked. So the veggie delight sandwich, the, you know, if you want something on the bread to not just have veggies, but you want something, you know, mm -hmm. some kind of sauce, you could have red wine vinegar, which has nothing in it. Drink guzzle the red wine vinegar. Mm -hmm. Uh, the vinaigrette has 3.5 grams of fat in it, so mm. you only have 30 calories, but 3.5 grams of fat in the vinaigrette. So again, the red wine vinegar, no fat. Um, you can get yellow mustard, deli mustard. The calories are untraceable. No Who honey cares? mustard. Uh, no honey mustard, <laughs> honey. No honey mustard. Uh, the mustards have no fat in them. However, the sweet onion sauce hmm. at Subway is good. It's sweet. It only has 30 calories. Zero fat. Zero fat. Wow. Yes. In the sweet onion sauce. You could get a bread. The best, best breads to get are the wheat or the Italian. The mm -hmm. wheat, and I'm talking about the six inch, not the baby, the mini that they do now, but the six inch wheat mm -hmm. has 1.5 gram of fat and the six inch Italian has two. So okay. if you want Italian, have the Italian. Right. You could get the sweet onion sauce, mm -hmm. and they, you know it, they got veggies galore, peppers and cucumbers, lettuce, tomatoes, spinach, all onions, da, 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 all, all kinds of stuff. Pepper for my sweetie, he <laughs> loves his black pepper. But you could have that on bread. I mean, that's mm -hmm. so hearty. What a treat, mm -hmm. right? So um, that's what I would get at Subway. You can also get the Veggie Delight salad, mm -hmm. um, and just know that they have all those veggies and all that red wine vinegars. I'm, I'm super excited about the sweet onion sauce. Yeah, though. me too. So that, that's, that's cool. If you want yeah. something sweet or you want that extra kick, right? You can Absolutely. do that. We also have a local um, convenient store called Wawa. I don't mm -hmm. know where you're at, but we, we do have a Wawa. So it could be other things for other people, 7-Eleven, mm -hmm. whatever. But I, th this Wawa actually has a deli in it and all of Turkey that Hill. Of Sometimes Turkey Hill will have a yeah. deli. Um, you know, um, yeah. what's the Cumberland Farms? They might have a, a, a deli, Royal Farms, they might have a deli. Um, just kind of all depends, yeah. Yeah, but I wouldn't say that Wawa is the same as like a 7 yeah. Eleven or a Circle yeah. K or, or something like that, yeah. or even a Sheets because Sheets fries a lot of their food, right? Yeah, so anyhow, yeah, I, don't, I don't know if the Sheets do they sell salads? I don't know if they sell salads, I don't know if they do or not. But I don't know. I just 
usually. Okay. Or vegetables, vegetables. So at Wawa, they do have bagels. Uh, again, it's the same thing as Panera. You can get the bagel knowing that you're going to get one or two grams of fat. You will get a lot of fiber and protein and mm -hmm. all of that. And you're looking at about 300 calories. So go for the bagels. Always don't choose the egg bagel. So yeah. you probably don't want to get the egg bagel. The plain bagel is the same way. The plain bagel does have the least fat one gram. Mm -hmm. The biggest thing with bagels is not the calories and fat, it's the sodium. Mm -hmm. So it is the sodium and bagels that are made out and that's why they're so good. They have... Um, a little bunker there at Wawa where they have little snacks. They have little packs of apples. Mm -hmm. They have fresh fruit, and that's all they are is fruit, apples. They have carrot sticks. Mm -hmm. You can grab that stuff on the go when you're really hungry and you're ready to eat your leg. You can get that kind of stuff. They have small fruits and large fruits and all that kind of stuff. Get the big one. Get a couple. I mean, who cares? They have mango, pineapple, watermelon. I mean, it all has no fat and mm -hmm. very little calories, probably like 100. Um, they have bean bowls mm -hmm. that we really, really like. And right. here's where I would be really kind of careful because their black beans do have canola oil in them. Um, through my research, I've seen that and I wondered, man, these taste kind of good. They probably have oil in them. So uh, the best non-fat option for the bowls at Wawa would be the rice and they have quinoa mm -hmm. that, they, that has no fat in it. However... Instead of just getting all beans now, because the bean bowl by itself would be six grams of fat, so we usually stay away from that. Mm -hmm. I go with the rice and beans, because rice it gives you the okay. three grams of fat, because mm -hmm. you're having half the rice. Mm -hmm. It's only 280 calories at the end of the day, and then it has a lot of fiber and protein. And so, and you can add some veggies to it. There's mm -hmm. a rice and quinoa bowl, again, maybe 250 calories, no fat. So oh, you can wow. get rice and quinoa if you wanted to, or just rice, or just mm -hmm. quinoa. I mean, it doesn't matter. I like a little bit of the beans because they're creamy and all that. I know I'm getting three grams of fat, but I don't get the whole bowl. Of right, beans. and That's it's not like you're eating it every day. Again, no, this is just, you know, once in, in, in a while type. Exactly, right. when we, when we got to run through and get something. Right. They have romaine and spinach bowls, which have almost untraceable calories, no fat, and they have so many veggies. So they do have a spicy veggie beyond bowl, I would not eat that Beyond Meat. I just, I wouldn't touch it. Yeah. The fat in that Beyond Meat ranges anywhere from 15 to 20 calories up to, I mean fat, 15 to 20 grams of fat, all the way up to something ridiculous. That Beyond Meat is not good for you. It's mm. vegan. It is not whole food plant-based. It has sodium. It has fat. It has saturated fat. It has everything you never wanted to eat. Go eat cotton candy. So is it, so is it less healthy than probably a normal burger? I don't know. Well, I mean, because then you're eating animal protein, so I don't even know if I can compare the two. Right. But I, I just, we don't eat that Beyond Meat just because of the fat and saturated fat and, right. and all I guess my point is, so you, now you have a yeah. man-made yeah. um, substitute yeah. for something that's exactly. you know, animal, right. and it's, it's, it's at least, um, not as first of all, we know it's not as healthy, um, and maybe even more unhealthy than, than animal you know, animal um, Bingo. protein or right. burgers. So. Which is why we don't eat a lot of tofu. When we do eat tofu, we eat the silken tofu. It mm -hmm. has the bet, the lowest fat and it is creamy. So when we do eat tofu every once in a while, we'll, we'll eat the silken one, but the other ones we don't. I will tell you that one day we were at Wawa and I was craving potatoes mm -hmm. and they had mashed potatoes. And so we asked her, what's in it? She said, nothing, nothing. It's just potatoes or just mashed. I, and I was like, are you serious? So we got the potatoes, we got out to the car, and one spoonful, and my tongue was coated. And and I can't tell you the last time I felt something yeah. like that. So I was not being baby like, yeah. boop, boop, boop. and I was all in these napkins, and Terry was like, what's wrong? I think he thought I was actually choking, and he was going to have to do the Heimlich, but I was trying to get that stuff off my tongue, and I said, there's something in these potatoes. She said, there's none, but I taste butter, I taste, and it was so prevalent because I don't eat like that. So I quickly came home and looked it up and not only do they have butter in them, but they have milk in them. Oh, Their wow. sweet potatoes have eggs, butter, canola oil, and a ton of sugar. Wow. So if you go to Wawa and you want the potatoes without anything in them, you're going to be getting a real treat because they got <laughs> lots of stuff in them. Yeah. So do, do not eat stuff like that. Again, you have to ask. I did ask, mm -hmm. but Sometimes it, it might, it, right, right, but sometimes you might not get the. Just right better do your own research and try it, it is much, much better.
They also have garden salads, um, always minus the croutons and cheese. Mm -hmm. Obviously the croutons, nine chances out of 10 have butter in them. You've got to ask. Um, croutons are not your friend. But the garden salad is like 40 calories or so and no fat without that stuff. You can build your own sandwich on like a marble rye. I did one for you just as an example. Mm -hmm. Marble rye with all kinds of veggies, yellow mustard. You're getting 200 calories and no fat and a ton of protein. Wow. So go there and get your marble rye sandwich mm -hmm. and, and be yummy 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 so those were some of the wawa options lots of bowls they also mm -hmm. have romaine and spinach bowls there that you can add stuff to mm -hmm. again they have hummus there too it's high in fat um so just be careful mm -hmm. just be careful with what you do they do have a pico mm -hmm. that you can get that's really really good right. uh, if you want to run into your local grocery store because you just feel like i'm not going to make it home i'm starving that's me half the time i always think i'm starving you could grab hearts of palm and you can eat them either out of the can or out of the jar, or it, it's better if you rinse them because they have a lot of sodium, but just eat the hearts of palm. Whole fruit, apples, bananas, grapes, pears, mm -hmm. plums. I guess if you're on the run, the, the less dirty fruit like bananas that mm -hmm. you peel is better, but you probably always have a bottle of water with you any, so what? Wash it. Yeah, um, I mean, you can do that. Baby carrots and celery mm -hmm. are always available. They always have fresh cut options right. in the grocery store, in the veggie aisle. I love wasa crackers, so if I'm just like, I'm starving and I need to crunch, I will eat wasa crackers. Do not buy popcorn in a bag. It has more fat in it than Doritos. Wow. So it's just be careful, especially the ones that tell you that they're healthy and they don't have any GMOs. <laughs> It'll blow your mind. Look at the fat content. You will not believe what air popped popcorn is like in a bag. Um, Wasa crackers, no salt pretzels. They're delicious. Mm -hmm. I think we buy the Snyder's mm -hmm. right. no salt pretzels. Uh, before I think 0 COVID, 0.5 grams of fat. Yes, yeah. not, like nothing. And yeah. it really has no sodium. Right, right. No sodium. Right. Uh, the salad bar, before COVID, there were salad bars there. Just get a whole bunch of stuff out of there and put some vinegar on it and, mm -hmm. and you're good to go. I don't know if that'll come back. Be really careful with your veggie chips, your roasted chickpeas, mm -hmm. and granola. Granola. I love granola. Who likes granola more than me? Oh right. my gosh. Granola in the store, you can't find it. I've looked in every store from here to I don't know how many states and you can't find it. It is loaded with Oh my gosh, so please wow. do not buy prepackaged granola, but I'm going to show you one day how to make yummy granola with fat. It is yummy. Fat. Oh it's my god. So, so good. good. And when I so make, good. I don't make it too much of because I eat it all. <laughs> um, and then the chickpeas are no good. Make them at home. Veggie chips, like I said, and the popcorn. But all that stuff I just said, you can make it at home with zero fat. So if you want to run into, what's, there's no difference running into your local convenience store that doesn't have the options that you need mm -hmm. as to running into your local grocery store and has all these options. So if right. you're looking for something quick, these are the things that you can do. Right. Uh, I think those were the thing. Oh, oh my gosh, how could I miss this? <laughs> Starbucks. Yes. So Starbucks has an oatmeal mm -hmm. that I've asked them. It's not obnoxious and they were happy to tell me that they make their oatmeal with water. Mm -hmm. So they have oatmeals, and when they give you blueberries, they're fresh. They're fresh not those blueberries. dried blueberries. We're blown away. Fresh blueberries. So good. And then the things that they give you on the sides, like the nut and all that, it's all on the sides, so you don't have to put it on there. Right. I get the oats. I put the blueberries on. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. I'm so satisfied. You're getting 120 calories in that. I mean, you, you can't go wrong. You're getting a little smidge, maybe one or so grams of fat because mm -hmm. of the oats. Do they give us but something to sweeten it too? Yeah, they give you the aguava if you want. They'll give you, it's just a little tiny thing. You can sweeten it with that. It's mm -hmm. no big deal. And, and then they do give you a little thing of nuts. Mm -hmm. And we don't eat nuts just because of the fat content for Terry, but yeah. you could do that. That was a pleasant surprise. That was Starbucks. very, that was very, because the other things at Starbucks that are vegan, I'm going to ask you kindly not to engage in that. Right. So they have an impossible breakfast sandwich. While it has impossible meat on it, it has eggs and cheese on it. So it's not vegan at all. It's definitely not whole food plant-based because it has impossible meat on it. So the only thing impossible about that sandwich is that it's not vegan, it's not vegetarian. Right. It's got eggs and cheese on it, but the breakfast sausage 
it, it's just, it's no good. But I will tell you that that impossible breakfast sandwich, if you did want to indulge in it, has 420 calories with whopping 22 grams of fat and eight wow. grams of saturated fat wow. and 800 milligrams of sodium. Wow. Yes. The sodium and the fat content yeah. is incredible. Yeah, so I just, but that is not vegan or vegetarian, right. but I guess because it doesn't have the sausage mm -hmm. on it, but does, okay. So, and then they have a sprouted uh, grain bagel, which is actually vegan, but again, I said be careful with the sprouted grains because you're looking at 330 calories, 6 grams of fat. Mm -hmm. so, so be careful because this word sprouted and no GMOs and... The buzzwords to make you think that makes you feel yeah, like yeah, it's feel good like it's healthy. For me. Yeah. Yes, and so one thing that they just got, and I was very excited when I saw it a couple months ago, was this chickpea bites and avocado protein box. I was like, yes, go whole food plant based. So <laughs> then I picked it up, and I was in the line, and everybody was looking at me. Terry, look at this. Look at this. So <laughs> calories, five hundred and sixty calories, uh, fat, thirty-seven grams of fat. 37 grams of fat. I would never give that to my husband. I love him too much. Don't make me mad. <laughs> um, 37 grams saturated fat, 5 and 710 milligrams of sodium. But what got me about this, because it's like it's chickpea bites and it's avocado mm -hmm. and it's a protein box and this is perfect, but it's not the 560 calories that scares me. It's that 37 grams of fat that, that really gets me. And the last thing I'm gonna talk about is Wendy's. Their plain baked potato is a plain baked potato. Right. We do run through the Wendy's and get a plain baked potato. That is it, it mm -hmm. is steamed, it is a potato. They take it out of the bag, they steam it, they do nothing to That's it. That's it, yeah. It is perfect. It's 270 calories, no fat, none, zero. And the protein and the fiber in that is very high. You can also get apple bites mm -hmm. at Wendy's, which are 35 calories, no fat. They're apples cut up for you already. Mm -hmm. You could get a side salad. You could also get the light Asian chili vinaigrette, but you gotta be careful because it does have fat in it. Mm -hmm. uh, you'd have to order any salad with no cheese, no croutons, no meat. You could get any salad you wanted there, but you'd have to order it without that protein, the Special animal order. protein, and uh, croutons, cheese, and all of that. Uh, but you could actually have a side salad mm -hmm. with the apples, okay, top it with the apple bites. Mm -hmm. You can get a baked potato. They have a salsa there. You can put the salsa on it. Now you have a salad with apples, and it's crunchy, and mm -hmm. you're eating your potato. Right. And, and, it's, and it's yummy. And it's healthy. I yeah. mean, you know, so you can yeah. run through the Wendy's and just that quick have something to fill you up because the worst feeling is that hungry. I hate mm -hmm. being hungry. Mm -hmm. I just... And not a good hungry person. And the fries at any fast food restaurant are all vegan, so yay. But um, they are loaded in fat, in fat. And so just the fries at Wendy's is the only one I did because I didn't want to spend a lot of time talking about fries because it's not important. But they're 420 calories with 21 grams of fat and four grams of saturated fat. So wow. can, can you eat fries as a vegan? Yeah. But a whole food plant-based person that is SOS, you know, salt, oil, and sugar-free does not eat 21 grams of protein in a small, I mean 21 grams of fat in a small fry. Right. It's just not important. But do get your potato and your side salad. And anyway, I hope that this helped you. I wanted to give you options of things that you could do or things you could think about. Your best thing is to call ahead any restaurant that you want to sit down and eat at. They have so many options for you. They will steam stuff for you mm -hmm. all day long. So accommodating. They are so accommodating. You can have rice and you can have beans. Most chances those people have quinoa. You can add the quinoa to your salad because now you're adding a protein. Mm -hmm. Add, they always have fresh fruit. Ask them to cut it up. If your friends are having chips and salsa, I always say, could you bring me celery sticks? Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, sure. Yeah. They always have celery because they usually have a bar where they make a tomato yeah. a Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary right. mm -hmm. So they always have celery. You could ask for carrots if they don't have them. And then we dip it in the salsa. And now we have chips and salsa too. And our celery is just as crunchy yeah. as their chips. Exactly. There's so There's many things you can do. There's lots of options. I hope this helped. We're going to have a snack uh, discussion <laughs> one one uh, morning soon. Exactly. But anyway. Well, honey, thank you so much oh, for doing all this research. Um, Angel spent a lot of time because 
we want to help you and she wants to help you and I actually learned a lot today myself so thank you so much you're welcome I really appreciate everything um, you've done to just try to bring all this together and you know the underlying theme is there are a lot of healthy options if you're out and you get hungry and you want to eat something but based on your research I mean there's a lot of unhealthy options especially as it relates to fat and sodium so you just want to be careful um, and plan ahead and again do your own research independent and just be in, make an informed decisions about eating a whole food plant healthy. based right exactly healthy exactly health. so thank you so much oh honey. you're welcome all right hey look we thank love you guys. guys love you love you have a great day okay. bye Thanks. bye